So this time we'll be talking about the Marvel Universe Secret Wars 2 pack, Thor and Enchantress. Let's talk about Thor first. We put the Enchantress in the background there. And uh, Thor, although it was nice to get a classic Thor, because there is another Thor available, and that's the modern uh, or current look Thor. But if you're a classic guy, classic Marvel guy, this is your only choice so far. It's kind of disappointing. Um, you see the helmet, uh, while sculpted all right, uh, these wings here. Uh, on the side, they're the same color. Uh, on the new figure, they're they're white. They're painted white, and uh, it looks a lot better. Uh, his face is kind of bloated, and uh, I know they wanted to make him look bulky and have that uh, kind of wrestler type body. Now he's all got the standard Marvel Universe articulation. Mm. Upper body, torso, uh, legs, knees, feet, arms, biceps, elbows, wrists, and the head uh, goes for left and right. Doesn't really go up and down. Um, that's it. For accessories, he's got one. Uh, the hammer, which is nice that it's short, uh, but it's a little bit too short. The handle here is a little bit too short. It should just be a little bit longer. For some reason, the hammers are a hard, uh, hard thing to get right. Uh, I think only one of the Marvel Legends has uh, gotten a hammer. Uh, but what is nice is that it has the classic Thor um, mantra. Whosoever holds this hammer, if he shall prove worthy, shall possess the powers of Thor. It's nice that they put that on there, and you can just barely make it out. Uh, before I forget to mention it, the cape, it's pegged in there, and you can take it off right there. Um, and actually, doesn't look too bad without it off with it off uh, but like all capes something is missing uh, without the character having it on so you can just plug it right back on uh, and unfortunately it doesn't really uh, connect to anything down here so it just kind of floats there you know, from a distance, it's all right. And let's get to the slightly better figure of the Enchantress. Uh, now, this is the first time there's been an Enchantress figure, uh, as far as I know, in any line. Uh, and uh, it, I. They kind of messed up on her face. I think they kind of messed up on her face a little bit. Um, you know, I mean, not that she looks ugly. It's just that the Enchantress is supposed to be one of the most beautiful women uh, that uh, mortals have ever laid their eyes on. And, I mean, although she's good looking, this kind of looks... Reminds me of Laura San Giacomo. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, 
but yeah, um, I mean, uh, other than that, paint job is really nice, uh, as always with these figures. Um, yeah, only a little bit of uh, paint mistake right there on the arm where her gloves uh, are. Kind of just is uneven, uh, not real defined. And uh, something that you don't find too often in these and uh, really is surprising. Uh, as you can see right here on the on her uh, the front part of her her those lines are very well defined um, now for her articulation she's got um, arms go around in and out bend at the elbows there's no uh, bicep because she's a female uh, wrists rotate, rotate at the waist, and uh, her legs go in and out a little bit, uh, hindered a little, little bit by the skirt, back and forth a little bit, uh, bend at the knee, bend at the uh, feet there, uh, and uh, her head. Uh, of course, doesn't really move because of her hair, um, which is really rubbery. Uh, kind of surprising, too. Anyway, so, yeah, do I suggest you get this? Um, only if you want a very classic-looking Thor, uh, which, I mean, even though I got it, it is kind of a disappointment. The Enchantress, too, is just the icing on the cake uh, for me. Um, and uh, So anyway, that'll be it. Stay tuned for my next review, which will be on the Ultron and Mr. Fantastic 2-pack.